solo mode is here guys we finally have the solo mode in this game with that being said this is my first ever solo game and uh, I don't quite know how to tell you this but most of the lobby are bots this is my very first game so I'm playing uh, in the morning roughly around about 11 because I just woke up not too long ago so this is my first solo game a lot of it is bots so I'm just throwing that out there. I'm going to try and hopefully get another match in this very same video with more players. But seeing as this is the very first one, like the first, I thought it'd be uh, still interesting just to put it in here. Just so we can, you know, experience it together. In all of its craziness. As you can see. Very, uh, <laughs> very butt heavy right now. I don't actually know where she's coming from. Yo! I put on knocked out. Wait, which one? <laughs> I had nothing to do with any knockout. Oh, wait. Maybe they just. I don't even know what that was. How weird was that? Like, yo, nice knockout. I'm like, I haven't even done it yet. Yes. Feel like I hear a cement or doing his work. Which is always worrying. Solo mode. Who do you guys think is going to be the, the best players for this, huh? Or characters, however you want to call it. Which character is going to be the best for solo mode? Bakugo is definitely up there. Yeah, Bakugo is going to be a huge one. All Might is going to be a huge one. Mount Lady is going to be a huge one. Mount Lady is definitely going to be a good one for those, you know, clutch Mount Lady players. <laughs> That's so ridiculous that you can get away with that. That's a like, please send me just fell down. Make it simple for me. Mount Toreri. Oh, yeah. I think Ida. Ida could be really good at this mode, depending on if players in general decide to focus him or not. You know what I mean? I think if, if people like realize, alright, we need to get this either right if anyone wants to win this final circle, then I think like he'll be screwed. You can't even do basic combo in this. I didn't even know that until now. <laughs> Look at how these bots react. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm sure the real players are around here somewhere. That's, that's one of them right there. I shouldn't take it by surprise. There we go. <laughs> Played some crazy mind games with that, dude. Now he should be low while I'm high. Ah, oh, I can't believe he actually got that off. I like to be out of like sight with, with Vido when I'm trying to get my cooldowns that way like if they can't hit me then I'm just gonna like get back into the fight in the best position as possible whereas they're not which I think is a big deal for him like it just like it just changes so much when they can't like reach you Ooh, nearly boy. Nearly boy all. Well, Matt's always a tough cookie. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but you just made it easy for me to take you down in peace. <laughs> because you, you just went somewhere where no one would see me. Level up, Alright, um, 
Yeah, I think it's works for now. You got a big bag? Alright, I'll take that then. Hey, you shouldn't have. Yeah, All Might's going to be a great one. Bakugo's going to be a great one. Todoroki, Deku, they're going to be great ones. Mountain Lady's going to be a great one. Anyone that can do a lot of damage and get away from places. So that's all two guys just like hanging out together. Or did I just imagine that? Oh, no way, that didn't lock on. That sucks for me. Oh, no, that's annoying. That's not me! <laughs> You're lying! You're not me! Uh, Togu is really uh, pushing that transformation for all it's worth, huh? <laughs> See, if in my opinion, she should have dodged that. Like, she dodged far and wide. Like, it looked like a, a legitimate dodge, but even this move still tracked onto it. You see what I mean when I say, uh, I think Eda's Vader is too weird to dodge. I know there'll be like a few people out there like, all right, all we need to do is learn the timings and all this. Like, look, most people they they actually dodge in a way that for for like 99% of the moves in the game, it's a reasonable dodge. Like when she dodged there, that, that was that was very reasonable to me. <laughs> but this game was like, no, it's not enough. So yeah, I don't know. It's very strange that one, that one. But yeah, like I said, I think Ida could have a good shout at being a good solo character if if people don't decide that they want to team up on him. He was in there somewhere. Yeah, sometimes you've got to give Ida a taste of her own medicine. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta give the eater players a taste of their own medicine. How do you like it? I bet you're complaining about that beta right now, huh? <laughs> yeah, I bet you don't like that move too much right now, huh? But he was loving it, I'm sure, doing it throughout this lobby. And other lobbies. Oh. Where are you then? There you are. Oh, we don't like that. Well, okay. Get some extra zip on that kick. And I think that's the job done. First ever solo game. Because it's the first one, I'll include it. The first ever one for me. Lots of bots, but uh, we got some interesting little scraps towards the end there. Again, I don't play either much. What is Midori doing in here? <laughs> is this a bug? What is Midori doing in here? <laughs> Yeah, look, see at the top right, solo battle on rank, just in case you guys thought I was trying to pull a fast one on you. When well, you saw that at the end there. Yeah, very, uh, very interesting for sure. I was saying something, then the appearance of Midori at the end just like threw me off. Yeah, I don't play Ida much, but I just wanted to see how he was in a solo mode and how he'd run around with people targeting him, but, you know, I guess we'll find out uh, maybe next time with more people in there. But uh, yeah, definitely the heavyweights of solo mode are going to be Bakugo, Deku, All Might, Mount Lady, 
uh, again, Ida and Kirishima, if people decide that they don't want to focus them. I think if those two guys get focused, then maybe they won't dominate as much as I think they will. It depends on the players in your lobby. If they're aware of the fact that if they get onto a 1v1 with Ida or Kirishima, they're in huge trouble. So if people like recognize that, then everyone will be shooting them and they'll be screwed. But if not, then, you know, they might find some joy. Anyways, that was the first solo game. Hope you enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, again, I know very bot heavy, but can't really do much about that. And it's the first ever match of it I tried, so I wanted to include it either way. Anyways, on to the next. Okay, we're moving into the second solo game that I've tried now. Second solo game. Um, half the lobby is bots this time, half the lobby is people. So it's a bit better than the first one. So it's like half and half. We've got a mixed lobby. And this time we're going to go with Karishima. So again, I'm trying out my other sort of little hunch on who could be pretty good in this that doesn't seem you know like one of the, the basic ones that people are gonna say so i want to see how he turns out well, i think one player chose darby which is very interesting how do you guys think darby is gonna do in solo i mean he's the player that the character so that kind of needs a team okay i think that must be no it's not a bot Oh, what if I was going a bit, a bit further? That works for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Get me out of there. Get me out of there. That was close, wasn't it? I got too greedy. I got way too greedy. And I nearly paid the price for it. Oh, there's an endeavor over there. I gotta be careful of that. Oh my god, Anna. Shigaraki. Oh, wait, maybe he changed his mind to go for the endeavor. Yeah, do that. <laughs> do that, mate. <laughs> I tried to go back from again, but that range. All right. Gonna have to be careful with Karishima until I sort out this beta. It's gonna be a lot more nip and tuck, you know. Until I sort out this beta, it's gonna be a lot more nip and tuck. It's going to be interesting. Level up da. That Todoroki is not looking to be taken for a fool. Let's see if you want to be taken for a fool though. Well, how much health do you have? That's right, yeah, you two do your thing over there, I'll do my thing over here, thank you. I'm kind of happy this is a bot, to be honest. 
I don't feel like I want to fight Nobara seriously in this very moment, <laughs> you know. Right, I'll take that. Thank you. No, didn't mean to do that. Turn that off. Thank you. Four players left. This mode, yeah, you know, again, like, here's the thing. It's been mostly bots, but it's still quite exciting. It has been, mo ooh, it has been mostly bots, but it is quite exciting. So I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying it so far. I'm quite enjoying it so far. You sure? Take that as well. Don't need that anymore. Take that. See, I think Kirishima's and Ida's can do pretty well, provided people don't really focus them, and you're like quite good at third partying and like taking over that third party, you know. But like you so if you get caught out early by someone with range and you run into like another person with range, that might be your lights out, you know. <laughs> so even Karishma agreed with me, he was like, You're shot <laughs> like that, that's right. Yep. I wasn't talking to you. Pointy. Alright, so there's four people left. This is a big map for four people. Oh, unless it goes to like mountain places. I don't want to be fighting in the mountain. That doesn't work for me. Oh, I hear it. Oh, yeah. Figured him out. You better stop that. To see if you're gonna drop anything worthwhile. Nah, probably not. Right? No wonder that dude was pretty tough. He had a Dragon Ball Z username. People with Dragon Ball Z usernames are always pretty good at stuff like this. Anime fighting games, fighting games, anything to do with like this kind of stuff. Dragon Ball Z fighting names, like if they're rocking around like Kakarot 78, like they're normally pretty good. At least that's from my experience. Let's see if I can third party the hell out of this when it's done. Is that two togas? No, it's an Ida and a Toga. Yeah, let me let me let me push this one at the very end. Ah, oh, she saw it. Damn, that knocks me down. Again? What the? <laughs> Stop. What an absolute nuisance. <laughs> Looks like I learned something today. And thankfully, the learning wasn't too uh, too detrimental to me. Us. Yeah, thankfully the learning wasn't too detrimental to me there. I had no idea that she could do that to... Uh, Oh, I had, I had no idea that she could do that to uh to Karishima like that. Karishima, did you know? I don't even think he knew. He's like, I had no fucking idea. My skin was hard. I had the whole episode where that dude had a thousand blades. I thought I'd be fine. And I was thinking, yeah, me too, Karishima. I mean, I don't know how you must feel. This is your quirk. He, uh, I'm a bit I'm a bit upset, really. Karishima told me. And I'm, I completely agree with him. He didn't have that whole knife episode just to get sweat. <laughs> just to get his... His, uh, his hyper armor swiped off him by some chick with a switchblade. <laughs> uh, jokes aside though, there you have it. Two solo games. Interesting experience for sure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'll probably leave it on that note because it's quite early over here and I guess all the games are going to look the same. But I do want to get a video out still for solo mode. So I'll probably just throw it up as it is. But there you got two solo mode games. One was like 
mostly bots, and the second was half and half. So I think overall not too bad. And uh, yeah, you got to see it with two characters who are probably not necessarily going to be the main choices for solo mode, but are still both very good characters. So uh, yeah, let's let's see how it all plays out. Let's see who rises to the top of the character meta for solo mode. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.